Hi guys, it's Dave here, Humble Trekker. We're going to give you a review today of the Belgian Military Surplus Extra Large Backpack. Let's look at the features and how this thing's put together. This Belgian Military Surplus Backpack is a, a, a volume of 110 litres, that's over 6,700 cubic inches in the main pack. <laughs> Additionally, it comes with two removable side pouches here and here, and I don't know the exact measurement of these, but I would imagine these are each at least 10 litres, 10 to 15. So you're looking at a total pack size of maybe 130 litres, maybe even more. This is, if you ever fill this up and you can carry it, you get my utter respect. It is a huge bag. It's all the bag you're ever going to need. So how's it put together? It's made out of very durable canvas waterproof material. This is a used item. You normally always get them used. They come with a few scratches and scrapes over them, but generally speaking, the quality is very good and they're not overly used. You've got a heavily padded, bulletproof, not literally, bulletproof kidney belt. You've got your heavily padded straps and the frame is aluminium and behind these straps. The shoulders are adjustable up or down by coming under here and working these straps, which is a bit of a fiddly job, but it's not something you're going to be doing all the time, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Location here to put your name tag. The left hand, the left hand shoulder strap is quick release if you need to get it off in a hurry. There's one very robust carrying handle here. And of course it has a necessary sternum strap which you're going to want with a pack of this size carrying that amount of weight. Additionally to these carrying straps, it has two of these loops here on the top of the shoulders which are useful for just dragging it if you need to. Also when you're wearing it, you put your hands through there and that can take some of the weight off your hips, give you a little bit of relief when you're on a long march. The compartment itself is one large complete compartment from the top to the bottom. There is a division inside where you can have a separate uh, sleeping bag compartment here, which can be opened here. On the top, you've got access to more usable map type compartments, uh, keeping whatever you want to get handy early doors out of there. It comes with attached straps at the top, attaching whatever equipment you want and you can also use these straps sorry you can also use these straps down here to attach whatever more equipment you want to too the side pouches are zipped on and when you purchase it they normally always come with two side pouches they come off very quickly and easily like that and to be honest you can probably do without these because the pack just as it is there, it's huge, it's going to carry a huge amount of equipment. But you can, if you want to, you can take this off and then just use it as maybe as a, a carry sack during a scout around your camp. It's a good idea. The detachable side pouch actually has a subcompartmentalised inside with a robust shelf here. So if you've got heavy equipment in there, it's not going to crush everything that's at the bottom. This actually is quite a well divided two part compartment. You could probably get enough equipment in that to last you 24 hours easily. Let's have a close look at the bottom compartment and the compartment which is normally known as your sleeping bag compartment. As you see, the straps continue all the way around the bottom so you can use whatever you, method you want to attach more equipment to the bottom. Right. So to get into the bottom compartment, you bust open those clips. Then you find the zip, that just undoes like this, fairly standard procedure. And then you've got a space there to keep you up to your sleeping bag. And then you can see that now you've got a semi openable space. So you can either have two compartments inside or you can take this, open up completely. And then you, you can have one complete continuous compartment in your pack. We'll open her up and see how she looks inside. 
First of all, the top compartment and zips. Had good quality zips on it. And they can probably do with a little bit of lubrication when you get it straight from your supplier. So you open up there, you can see immediately a very large compartment that you can use. And then we unclip that. There's another zippable pouch here. Put maps in. Something you need to get to handily. It's delicate stuff. And then it comes to the, the waterproof typical situation here. You open it up and you get into your bucket where you can fill all your equipment up with. There's a second drawstring here to make the top tight. Okay, final thoughts on the Belgium Army Pack. Number one, this is not for everybody. I don't recommend that anybody runs out and buys a 110 litre pack, because it's not something you're going to be using all the time. But it could be something you might want to have stashed away somewhere for an emergency when you really want to get out there for a long time. And for that reason, I think the Belgian pack is a very good choice, because it comes in, it's extremely good quality, strong, normally in good nick when you get it, and it also doesn't cost a huge amount of money. You can pick these up for under $100. And if it's a pack that you're not going to be using on a regular basis, you don't really want to be putting a lot of money into a pack that's just sitting there waiting for use once or twice a year. I suppose you better mention it, the camo pattern. What do you think of it? To be honest, it's grown on me. It looks worse it, on the camera and in film than it does in reality. And it certainly is a good camo. Watch out if you leave it in the woods, you won't find it again. All right then guys, take care. I'm gonna be doing a few more reviews of uh, packs in the future. So if you wanna see more reviews of military surplus packs, hit that subscribe button and you'll see when they're coming up. Helicopters are flying over. Air ambulance, hope somebody's safe out there. Take care.